Good morning, good morning, pressure babes. So first I wanna say happy Valentine's Day. Most likely you guys will be getting this video on the 15th, so it's gonna be a day after, but I still wanna say it to you ladies. Um, first of all, if you're a returning subscriber, hey girl, what's up pressure babe? And if you're a new girl, girl, go ahead, subscribe now, become part of the pressure gang, become a pressure babe, because we apply pressure over here all day, every day, and that's all, period. So um, y'all, today we are actually going to be working with the TRX machines, right? So I'm super excited. Um, y'all probably see these in y'all gyms all the time everywhere like every gym has a TRX machine I don't even know why I call it machine or, um, but anyways a lot of gyms have these and that's what they are right there what I'm pointing to um, so I'm about to show you guys multiple different workouts that you guys can do with the TRX and yeah you already know these intros don't be long so let's get into it for starters you're probably wondering what is a TRX machine it feels we're calling this a machine because it's really not I guess ropes I don't know I'll put the exact what TRX mean, I'll put it in the description because I low-key forgot, I'm not even gonna lie. But this is what it is. So you probably have seen these in your gym everywhere and you're probably like, what is those? What do you use those for? Or you may have even seen people using them and wonder why. Um, so these, using the TRX machine is very great. It doesn't matter what level of fitness you're in, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced, this is great for all levels of fitness. I love using these and I consider myself uh, a little bit intermediate, more in advanced-ish. I'm not too advanced, but I'm advanced enough. <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna show you guys a few different exercises that we can do with these. So the first one that we're gonna do is something super basic. Y'all know I love working on my legs, lower body, period. So we just gonna start with that. Well, we just about to just be everywhere low key. So um, the first one that we're gonna do is squat jumps. So also just keep in mind, whenever you're using the TRX machine, this is very great for if you have like knee troubles, if you have like lower back pain, if you're not as mobile. So there's multiple benefits of using the TRX machine, okay? So whenever I'm doing things like, um, so if I'm for a regular squat jump, if I'm here, like that just on a basic squat jump and you know you're not someone who kind of like have balance to kind of, you know, get the motion. Let me show you how to do that with this. You never really have to worry about it being connected because most times it's going to always be connected as is. So we're going to get these and we're going to pull it out to like where your arms can be extended. And we're going to take a few steps in, right? So my jump motion, as I'm jumping down, I'm going to like pull my chest up and out, right? So let me show you what that looks like. So here. So that's all I'm doing. Um, so I'm really just trying to... I'm really just trying to get my chest through there without like being you know, forcefully pulling yourself in, if that makes sense. And with this particular video, I'm not about to go through and do like 10 reps of each video. I'll probably do anywhere from like three to five reps, just to show you guys the momentum that you should be going, your form, and just give you tips along the way. For our jump squats, we're here, once again, we're holding. We wanna go into our squat to make sure we're comfortable, right? And then we're just gonna jump up, one for five, and three, two, one, pop, one, two, get those feet off the ground, three, four, five. Actually slow down, there's a nice gentleman in here. He's like, your commentary is great, but you should slow down. So I'm gonna slow down, because I definitely get told that a lot, like I do, I, I naturally just talk fast, like I'm just like, da -da 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 -da. girl, relax. Like I'd be trying to get out every word at once, <laughs> like, and I don't know what that's them from, but anywho, I'm, I'm, gonna try my, I'm gonna try my best to, talk a little more slow. Next exercise that we're gonna go into is split squat jumps, okay? So for our split squat jumps, let me show you what that looked like without the TRX. So split squat jump, it's literally like a lunge and you're literally just jumping mid ear and you're gonna switch. Let me show. So we're here. With the TRX, it actually gives me a lot more oomph, so it's easier for me to jump a lot higher, number one. Number two, I feel like I can get in a lot more reps because you're assisted in a sense, right? So let me show you what that looks like with the TRX. Arm length, right? We're gonna go down into a lunge, and if you feel yourself too far out, that's fine, just move in a little bit, okay? We're gonna go down into a comfortable lunge. So when you're at a lunge, you should literally be, both your legs should literally look like 90 degrees both angles so your foot should not be all the way back there it shouldn't be like right here we want to do nice comfortable 90 degree angles both ways for your lunge okay same thing as we was doing a squat jump so we're just going to literally pull up as we're in the air we're switching our legs so we're so i'm starting down with this left and as i come down i'm going to be coming down on my right okay so let me show you what that look like in motion so we're here 
up. And once again, as you see the motion, I'm pulling it my chest. That helps you to get those feet off the ground. Five reps. One, two, three, four, five. Girl, so you wanna have your feet off the ground. Like, you know how they be doing that one dance with them so they look like they be like slatting or floating in space and be like. <laughs> if y'all don't know by now, girl, clearly I don't know how to dance, bro. I, I be trying, I really wanna learn how to do that. I'm gonna get it. Next, we about to go into a burst lunge squat. If you don't know the reverse lunges, you're just taking that leg, taking that back, bow. You know what a squat is, okay? This is a really, this is one of my favorite workouts without even using this. So literally, so the motion, whenever I do this without that, you're literally going, ha, back into it, right? Girl, when I tell you the booty pump claws on fire, don't play with her. <laughs> don't play with her, okay? So. We're just going right into it. So it should look like reverse lunge, pow. Reverse lunge, pow. And honestly, with this, you'll literally get the same exact effect. Once again, this is just for assistance. You're going to still feel it, promise you. With exercise like this, you will want to go anywhere from 10 to 12 reps each leg. We're going to do three reps each side really quick so you can see what I'm talking about. But this is how the flow should go. And then you should go right into it, momentum, and tut, time under tension, right? So you don't wanna keep having to stop. Maximize these gains, honey. Bow. One, right into it. Two, three, right? Now, if I'm about to go to, I'm doing 10 reps, say this is nine, 10, right into the other side. One, bow. Two, three, sit low. Four, get these gains, right? So great for glute growth, quad growth. You gonna get the gains, sis. The next thing we about to go into is a couple core workouts. Now, granted, there's so many workouts that I can show you with this, but I ain't about to keep y'all here all day, right? So I showed you three lower body exercises that you can do with the CRX that is super beneficial, super beneficial. I'm gonna show you three core exercises that we can do with the CRX. The first one is you're about to watch me get in this. Super weird, I don't know if there's, there might be a better way to get into this, but this is what we doing, okay? 10 years later. <laughs> Y'all, I be struggling. There we go, after I place my foot on the ground. Okay, so we're gonna do a TRX pike. We're gonna come out a little bit, stabilize yourself, tighten that core up, so that's all I'm doing. I'm just raising my hips up, ready? Bringing that booty up, controlling it down. Back up, controlling it down. That's all we're doing. Up, controlling it down. And I promise you, after like, whew, child, after like a good five to six in them reps, you're gonna be like, it's time to go home. Next exercise we're gonna go into is, we're gonna go into a tug type of uh, bicycle crunch type exercise next, okay? So you're only gonna put one foot. You can choose whatever foot you want. I'm gonna put one foot in there, okay? So the motion that you're going with this, you're going to drive it up. So it's going to be like a one, two, one, two. Let me show you what that look like. So what I'm doing is, okay? And this foot needs to be up because you're that's where you're going to really feel it in your core is the foot that's planted on the TRS, okay? Let me show you at a different angle. We're in another angle so y'all can kind of see the back end. I'm going to try to turn it out this way a little bit. We got one foot planted and we're going one, two, okay? If you can keep this foot up, perfect. If not, if you need to rest it, as I said, you can do that as well, okay? One, two, one, two. Another core exercise that we're going to do with this, to get in here very awkwardly. I wish I had a better way to show y'all how to get in here. Y'all gonna have to figure that out or look up some videos on how to get in here better. Either one, you can do a high plank here and just hold, tighten that core, or you can do a low plank, or you can do hand to elbows is what I call them. So up, up, down, down. Now that's a little bit more advanced. Now I showed y'all three core exercises. Now we're about to go into three upper body exercises that you can do with these. So one of them that you can do, so you can do this one of two ways. So you're going to lean in. And honestly, so the more you lean in, the harder it'll be, okay? If you're up more, the easier it'll be, okay? So just keep that in mind. Lean in, and all I'm doing is pulling this through my chest, right? Through the chest, or control it. Control it coming in, control it going back, okay? So you can do it that way, or you can also do it 
with the leg up and that's gonna be a little bit more challenging and you're gonna push off your heel a little bit. So we're here, we're gonna pull in, control it back, pull in, control it back. Now that one right there that I just showed you, that one's more like a full body. You gotta have your core nice and tight. I felt that in my core, you're hitting your the legs and your hand upper body all at once. So once again, we love our compound exercises. That's a hit. The one that you can do, Y. So you're here and you're gonna pull out, okay? Take it back in. Once again, all these exercises are to be controlled. It's nothing to rush through. You'll feel it, I promise. Okay. The third exercise I want to show you guys is a little bit more intermediate, advanced. So it's kind of like an Arnold press. Okay. So with this, we're going to come back into this position. So we're going to pull in, take it out above the head, control it, release in around the head. Okay. Hi right, girl, so we are closing out this vlog here. I showed you at least like eight, nine, I believe like nine different ways that you can use our good old TRX machine, ropes, whatever you want to call it. Um, I hope this video was super useful, super enjoyable for you ladies. Um, once again, if you came this far to the video, girl, go ahead, subscribe, become part of the pressure gang, become a pressure babe, because we apply pressure over here all day, every day, and that's on. Period. You ladies know the vibes. And once again, I want to tell you guys, happy Valentine's Day. And I'll see you ladies in my next video.